ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy, aka Mini P, with another Minecraft Bedrock video. And today we are going to be talking about this guy right behind me, which is a Crimson Root and Fungus Farm slash uh, Warped Fungus and possibly Warped Root Farm. Of course, to get the Warped Root, you would have to switch out this. Uh, Nylium for uh, the other one, <laughs> the Crimson Nylium for the for the Warped Nylium, and then uh, you would get the Warped Root instead of the Crimson Root. But um, I go with this because you get a lot more Crimson Root than you do Warped Roots, and you get both the funguses anyways. And plus, in my builds, I like to use the uh, Crimson. So, how does this thing work? So if we flick this lever right here, you'll see the system starts up. Basically what we're doing is bone milling that bottom block. It's spreading to the top blocks, and then these pistons break it, and then the hopper mine cart picks up whatever's left off, and some of it falls straight into that hopper there. And you'll see we get tons of stuff inside of both of these chests. So, pretty simple build here, nothing too fancy. Um, yeah, so another feature of this is once you get a lot of this crimson, crimson uh, fungus, or sorry, crimson roots in here, I don't really like this block, I don't have any use for it, so what I do is I just throw it in this chest up here, and then it turns into bone mill and goes straight back into the system. So you can see that bone mill is feeding back into the dispenser. And this will just continue to run as long as there's bone mill in that dispenser down there. So that's super cool. And if you just have extra bone mill, you can just throw it in this chest and it'll go straight into the dispenser. So that is pretty much it. Like I said, super, super simple uh, farm here. Here's the on and off switch. If we flip this off, you'll see the minecart will stop, which is really cool. Um, I, before this, I didn't really know you could do this kind of hopping minecart where it like turns the other way like that with a gold um, uh, rail. But yeah, that totally works. And then we turn that back on and you'll see it hops over and goes around. Um, so that's a pretty cool feature there. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for this farm. So let's... Uh, talk about building it. So what are we going to need to build this farm? We are going to need the following materials. We are going to need 16 redstone, 2 redstone torches, 1 redstone repeater, a sticky piston, 2 observers, 1 dispenser, 1 piston, 7 rails, um, uh, sorry, 7 pistons, 7 rails, a powered rail, uh, you're going to need 8 hoppers, 7 chests, 1 composter, it's 14 blocks of your choosing, a lever, 20 glass of your choosing, a minecart with hopper, some bone mill of course, and then some crimson nylium. And that's what we're going to need to build this. So the way I always start off this build is by putting down the dispenser first. So that's where our dispenser is going to go. Now what we want to do is we can start placing in our hoppers around the dispenser and also we can place in our observer. So let's go ahead and place in an observer um, and just crouch and place the observer the other way. The redstone dot should be pointing into the observer just like that. And we can place our second observer one block below that pointing that way. So the redstone dot should be pointing just like that. Now you can actually go ahead and oh, let me put that right back. You can go ahead and install your sticky piston at this point as well. So we're just going to put the sticky piston facing straight up, easy for me to say, into that block. And you'll see if we flip this guy on temporarily, we'll see that it'll make a clock, and this would start dispensing if it had something inside of it. If we put this inside of it we'll see that it is dispensing. So that is the main clock for this build. So now we can continue on with the building process. What we need to do is um, let's start going around with our hoppers. So let's grab our hoppers and our solid blocks here. All right, so what we want to do is put a solid block right here. And then this is gonna be our system for putting bone mill back into the, the um, 
the dispenser here. So what you're going to want to do is grab yourself a chest. Put the chest just like this and that will be perfect. Now what you're going to want to do is go ahead and put a block right here. And this is where our minecart's going to go. And then we can put a double chest here just like that with hoppers going straight into the double chest and then another double chest right here with hoppers going straight into that just like so um and yeah that looks pretty good now that is pretty much it now you can lay down your whales so what you're going to want to do is you can just go around in a circle just like this until you get to this one corner block this corner block is where we are going to put our um, minecart to start off so what we're going to need to do is grab a power rail and throw that power rail right here and you can see it turned this way if it turned this way we would have to put our solid block here but since it turned this way we need to put our solid block on this side so just put a solid block right in front of that grab yourself a lever just like so and you can flick this lever on and you should see that that power rail turns on flick it off the power rail should turn off and that's exactly what we want now we can grab our minecart and throw it right on top of that just like so and we are getting there we're actually probably about halfway through this already so now we might as well go ahead and throw in our composter and our other hopper here so all you're going to want to do is put a hopper straight on top of that and a composter on top of that and one more hopper. Actually, I think I might have angled it in that way. It's not so high. You can, you can angle this in just like that and a composter on top of that and one more hopper and then go ahead and put a chest on top of all of that where you can put all of your, um, crimson uh, roots straight into there now uh, I accidentally broke this let's add that back in now let's go ahead and do the redstone it's gonna go to uh, the sticky piston so we'll just put a couple solid blocks one under that and one right there and then we're just gonna run straight under this hopper just like I do on screen and all the way around to right under this and all you're going to do is lay your redstone line just like this all the way around to the hopper. Now, of course, if your solid block had to be on this end, um, if your rail was pointing the other way, you would just move this up one block and put your redstone like this. And of course, your lever would go here. But because our rail is pointed that way, we need to put our redstone like so and that is perfect now if we flip this on we should see that we're getting things dispensed and our minecart is moving around in a circle and that's exactly what we want so now time to build the top part of this so all we need to do for this is grab ourselves our pistons and our crimson nylium and then go ahead and start placing these blocks you can put a crimson nylium right on top of that and then you can put your piston just like this facing into that and now run a strip of three on each side just like so three there and three on this side just like that now what we're going to do is start pacing in pistons on this side and that side just like so and then uh, these will be a little harder to place. You might want to put a temporary block back here so you can place that. And put three more regular pistons on this side just like so. Now let's go ahead and build the circuit that's going to be powering this. So once this gets lifted up, it's going to go into a solid block right here with a redstone torch on top and then that redstone torch is going to go into this block with another redstone torch just like so and then that redstone torch is going to go into this block with a repeater on top and that will control this piston and then all we need to do is put another solid block that will feed into that repeater and then all we have to do now is go ahead and grab our glass 
just like so and run a line of glass right here and grab our redstone and you can put that redstone just like this on top of that block and then run your redstone right down these pistons just like so now what we need to do is we need to put a roof on this so all you need to do is grab some glass blocks and pull them along just like this and that should be your roof now what we're going to do is we're going to pull a solid line up of glass like this and then we can go one down from that and that is your roof and glass all put in and this is your farm pretty much done so now if we flip this lever you'll see we are getting all of our drops and they're all being collected into these two chests so that's 100 percent working and that's all you need to do to make a crimson nylium uh roots and fungus farm also this could also be a warp root and fungus farm um whatever you choose to do uh, you'll just have to change out these blocks for warp nylium and yeah that's all there is for this video if you enjoyed it please leave a like leave a comment let me know down below how you liked it and how it worked in your worlds and if you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell so you never miss a video from me, aka BP. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next 1.16 tutorial. Bye!